Hi, everyone new. Welcome to this session. Uh, so today we will be discussing about uh, sectors that you are liking and in each sector, which are the preferred stocks you would like to recommend. Yeah, thanks a lot, Saurav. So uh, Saurav, right now, if you see uh, on the market side, uh, what's happened is that, you know, a lot of the sectors have really started to doing a lot of uh, good numbers related to what the situation was during the time of uh, COVID, uh, you know, in March. Uh, what we are experiencing is that, you know, uh, except for sectors such as the tourism related, hotel related, and maybe uh, re uh, retail, uh, you know, especially that also on the apparel side, Right. You know, the other sectors, we are seeing that uh, things have really st uh, stabilized a bit related to what they were earlier. And for that particular reason, we are seeing a lot of opportunity. In addition to that, what's happened is because of the tensions that India's had uh, with China, a lot of domestic manufacturers are going to make super novel profits because imports are going to come down drastically. So that is another thing which is happening. A lot of global companies are looking at, you know, expanding their supply chains. Uh, they want not only to be only in uh, China, they want to expand to countries like India, uh, where they can, you know, India can become part of global supply chain. Uh, India would be competing against some of the other countries like Vietnam, which are doing pretty well. But still, I feel that we do have a chance uh, in showing good growth on an overall basis. Uh, various sectors have different kind of uh, reasons uh, why they are likely to do well. Uh, let's talk about some of these sectors that you know are in limelight. So I think the first so sector that we can talk about is the chemical sector. And in chemical sector, you know, the clear uh, Thought process is that since these global supply chains are going to change, uh, some of these companies are really going to have significant traction in terms of volumes. Uh, my only caution to investors in chemical sector is that since the valuations have gone up a lot in the sector, uh, mm -hmm. you have to now look at the right kind of stocks. Right. So maybe these stocks like Atul Limited. Uh, you know, which is their RT industries are there. These are fantastic companies. Okay. But the problem which is there is that the valuations have become quite overheated in the okay. company. So we are more bullish on company like Sudarshan Chemical. Uh, the other company that we really like is Deepak Nitride. The stock has done really well, but still we feel that there could be a large scope of uh, rating in terms of multiple uh, going forward uh, from the company. Earning trajectory has been fantastic for the company. Uh, the next sector that we can really look at is pharmaceutical sector. Now, in pharmaceutical sector, you broadly look at, you know, three different kind of uh, segments. So one is, uh, you know, people who make generic drugs out to US, which will be your, uh, the Sun Pharma of the world, Lupin, Dr. Wendy's, that is one category of stocks. And they have done decent over a period of time. Then there are companies which are more towards the Indian market. So some of these companies so are domestically oriented. So they're uh, depending on which segment, which customer is in, uh, you know, we are seeing that kind of attraction. But there is a segment which is more of a API segment, okay. active pharmaceutical in uh, ingredient. Hmm. That particular segment, we are seeing a stupendous kind of a growth happening. Okay. So companies like uh, Lock Labs, companies like DVs, right. they are doing exceedingly well. So a lot of the API players, even the smaller ones like Newland, Laboris, those kind of companies are doing very well over a period of time. Uh, there are companies like Dishman Carbogen, which has a presence here as well as in European, European manufacturing. So those are the kind of companies who are doing pretty well. And then there could be companies who are very uh, good in terms of biosimilars as well as, you know, on customer outsour outsourcing kind of opportunities. 
and for that particular reason uh, some of the companies you know biocon or you know some of the other companies from that segment you know they can also uh, do pretty well over a period of time so these are the kind of uh, companies from the pharmaceutical side which look quite attractive right now the other part which is done pretty well uh, is companies uh, you know which are more from a it sector perspective we have seen the it stocks have really gone up a lot and especially the mid cap it side uh, you know their stocks like uh, nuclear software uh, that has gone out over the roof from the bottom i think so these stocks are probably up 3x so you know we've seen stupendous kind of uh, uh, numbers coming from there uh, there is a new company that we recently recommended coforge which was earlier called nit technology yeah. so that also continue to do pretty well and even on the front line side whether you talk about tcs infosys or even an hcl tech which used to be at a 12 30 multiple and now 17x that also looks quite attractive to us okay. these are some of the stocks which we are finding attractive there is a clear uh, reason why it is happening uh, people thought when covid happened that there is going to be a increase in uh, a uh, substantial reduction in cost uh, that the international guys uh, will do and for that reason these companies will have a strong reduction in budgets but okay. what we are seeing is though the discretionary spend is reducing the other spend which is a normal that continues to be pretty good and for that reason in addition to the companies that i mentioned even companies like persistent emphasis they continue to do pretty well and some of the smaller company like billa soft those companies are up uh, nearly uh, you know more than two times uh, in a very short duration of time yeah. so it has yeah. become a very interesting uh, sector per se uh, coming to the automobile sector in the automobile sector you can look at broadly it from four different uh, segments uh, one you group the people who are more on the export side you know the salaries and then you have in the domestic the cv the car as well as the two wheeler so two wheeler uh, you know as we were also recommending and clearly that has panned out well is that the two wheeler stocks are doing pretty well because of uh, you know everyone wants to having their own vehicle rather than going in a metro or you know in a bus so that has really helped uh, that segment uh, car segment also similar kind of a theme has played on the commercial vehicle side it will take some time because there is a lot of inventory which is there and people don't have that purchasing power uh, you know the entire concept of everyone uh, you know traveling together has gone away because of covid uh, the ancillary side is looking very interesting to us specifically stocks in tire sector for example battery sector but the reason for that is not only that the uh, demand is going up uh, in terms of oe but also there are some new factor like for example the chinese factor uh, in case of tires for example now if i have to import a tire i need to put in that you know from which location is this tire manufactured and what are the raw materials and what is the place of origin of that so for that particular reason we are seeing lot of tires import being stuck up and for that reason it's kind of a very good Uh, opportunity for the indian guys who anyway were running at lower inventory to do well so these kind of opportunities are clearly visible in the market uh, that one can see with regard to uh, the fmcg sector we always uh, obviously saw the essential side of thing uh, you know companies doing pretty well and in fact the consumer discretion is uh, the durable side also expect numbers to be pretty strong because as people stay more your requirement of the refrigerator the uh, washing machine and those kind of equipment will increase and even things like fans and all for that particular reason we are quite bullish on a company called crompton uh, electric uh, electricals so that looks a very interesting uh, company to us uh, from uh, that segment fmcg since the valuations are already expensive uh, we would not recommend too much uh, bid on that particular sector it's more of a stable it doesn't give you a big alpha uh, over next 6 to 7 months because the valuations have really gone up but broadly speaking that's a interesting space to be in uh, the metal sector is one which has become very interesting because the chinese demand has really gone off the roof the auto demand as well as the uh, metal demand and for that particular reason the international metal prices have really started to go up 
and that would be very healthy for players like Tata Steel and even the pipe guys like APL Apollo, Surya Roshni, you know, those will also do well. Uh, so, Tata Steel as well as the uh, Jindal Steel, you know, JSW Steel. So, that particular segment of the market also do well. So, broadly speaking, this is our thought process in terms of uh, sectors and, you know, what kind of stocks can do well. Uh, the one key sector that obviously is the telecom sector uh, because of kind of crazy deals which have happened by Jio. Now, in that particular sector, we have seen that uh, Bharti Airtel, which was kind of a darling of the market till two weeks, three weeks back, has come down a lot. But I think so this is the right opportunity to buy the stock because ultimately the telecom is one of the main guys who will be the owner of the customer. And from that particular perspective, I think so Bharti, despite the recent post-paint launch, which has been done by Jio, uh, the stock should do exceedingly well. With regard to uh, the, the owned uh, BFSI sector, what we've seen is the weightage of the sector has come down. But at the same time, uh, what has happened is that some of the NBCs have started to get money now at a very lucrative rate. And since the liquidity in the system has increased a lot, I think so that particular segment should also see now growth coming back. So overall, I don't think so. Things are as bad as what they are made out to be because a lot of the companies which are part of the indices are not from the so-called impacted sectors uh, where the unorganized guys are going through a very bad time. And for that particular reason, I think so some of the organized uh, listed players are going to have a substantial improvement in business uh, going forward. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.